How's everybody doing? Hi. We are not dead. It was touch and go. <laughs> it really was. So wait till you hear this story. Uh, we'll start with yesterday though. Yesterday was our 15th wedding anniversary. Yay! Uh, we drove down to Tennessee to the Oliver factory. Well, we didn't drive down there until this morning, but we drove nine hours from West Virginia yesterday. Long slog of a drive. Got up this morning, went down to the factory, did our walkthrough delivery with Chris. Good guy. We Good liked guy. him a lot. Yeah, exactly. We did a lot of, um, learned some more things that we didn't know. It was at times a little overwhelming, but we made it through. It was great. Beautiful trailer. It was nice and pristine. Oh yeah. Perfectly, beautifully clean. For like five minutes. Yeah, because it ain't that way anymore. No. <laughs> so we always say before we go on a vacation or something, we always look at each other and say, let's have an adventure. We did. And we we didn't mean this kind. Yeah, no, we didn't mean this kind. So literally, we're pulling out, and Scott's like, let's have an adventure. And we're like, okay, yay. I didn't mean it. <laughs> we made it three miles. Three miles, and we missed the turn. Oh, missed She's the using this RV trip with her thing for the first time. Yeah, I'm learning a new pro app for that's supposed to give you RV safe driving directions. So you're not sent down terrible roads. It's supposed to consider how tall your rig is and how much gas how your wide it tow is. vehicle uses. It does a lot. Yeah. But it doesn't know any roads in Tennessee. Apparently you messed that up. <laughs> so we missed our first turn and it's of course says recalculating. It did. And that's the scary word. Don't, if you hear recalculating, <laughs> stop. <laughs> so it has us turn onto this road and at first it's paved. Look good. Look fine. We're okay. Yeah. And then it turned into a dirt road. Now, this is a nice, normal dirt road. For those of you from West Virginia, you know what I'm talking about. There are some scary dirt roads. The, the, right. There's ones that you can take a car on. There's ones you can take a truck on. There's ones that you can take a, a four-wheeler four on. on. This was a car dirt road. It yeah. was. We yeah. would be happy on a car dirt road. But then it got progressively worse. And then we lose cell phone service, and it starts to recalculate constantly. Well, he doesn't know where we are. Yeah, it kind of, I think, lost where we were at. And by the time I figured out it would lost where we were at, and I tried to bring up Google Maps, it just kind of created a little, I guess, a perfect storm. We had gone about four miles, maybe, at this point. We see a farm that has a place where we might be able to turn a 23-foot rig around, brand new, green, literally never done it before. Never turned around a camper before. There's a gate, there's a wide enough spot in front of the gate, and I think it can, we can fit. We can fit. We can, but you can't do almost a Yui when you're green, and I, yeah. I was unable to. We spent 30 minutes trying. We did. And really, honestly, he tried his darndest. He really did. We didn't cuss. No, we didn't. didn't yell at each other. No, we handled We didn't it. hit the panic button. Mm -mm. But we did not want to proceed because it's the next, literally like 500 feet from where we were, there was this massive water pit. It looked like a hippo could fit in it. It was nasty. <laughs> this is the stuff we're dealing with now. So this road is progressively getting worse and worse and worse. We really want to turn around. We tried. It was too much. We're, we're, we're not... And the directions are telling us, RV trip was saying, drive 4.4 miles down this road. So we've already keep gone going. several keep miles. Keep going, they're telling they're us. They want us to keep going. So well, we failed. We're not, we're not able to turn around. So we decided we're going to just try, we have to try this road. Well, then it gets worse. Now, instead of being a, a, a truck, at this point it's a truck dirt road. Yes. Now it turns into narrow. Like, my truck literally just fit yeah, between we, the trees. Yeah. Like, it was just enough. If it we just, hit anything else, it would have been done. It would have been terrible. And then there are these ginormous potholes. I mean, these hippo-sized wading pools of a freaking puddle. We're every, going slow. Yeah. We're keeping it cool. But we're getting... It's, it's, it's tense. tense. It's very tense. And we are not... I mean... Uh, yeah. So we get really excited because at one point we have gone maybe like a mile and a half and we see a main road and we see cars and I get There's all excited. There's a flash of light. We didn't see any cars. Oh, well, that's true. We saw a flash. It, we could tell it was a car because the sun had reflected off of the windshield. We were very excited. Yeah. Until we got... <laughs> to where the road is. Okay. So we didn't see any cars because we were going under where the cars were. So this rickety overpass. It was a concrete hole. It was, they drive, the cars were driving over it. And I, the, the, the concrete was this far, you can't see my hands, this far off of the, off the road. So I had to run the truck over the hill, over the, the concrete, hope we didn't lose our air conditioner because this was not a big hole. No, it was, we were, we were a very tight fit. I mean, all around from sides to top, every bit of it. And when we hit that berm, 
it sounded like we were dead oh my god i thought for sure it wasn't the truck it was the trailer and i thought well that's nice we just got this trailer like 30 minutes ago and we've done destroyed it it was oh it was really it bad it was bad but no stopping we can't we're done can't stop it, we're, we gotta we're, keep going we gotta keep going we got momentum there's no way to turn around there's oh. not it's there's forward onward or upward and we're in four-wheel drive the entire time we forgot to tell them about the road that when it, it went so far up we had to put it in four because oh, yeah, we spun we out were spinning. we were spinning because of the gravel it just this was can you tell this was a nightmare this was not not how you're supposed to start this don't miss your road don't miss your turn do not miss your turn and if anyone's wondering we were just going to a state park campground that was supposed to be like a little easy 45 minute drive apparently i needed written directions to make this happen i should have gotten written directions we uh we didn't quit we kept going and and where the bridge was is was really where the absolute worst of the road yeah. so from there it starts to progressively get a little bit better we've already made it mm -hmm. we're feeling like we're not going to die i'm i'm in the passenger seat just praying god make this road a little bit better God, make this road a little bit better. And he did. Somebody needs to ask her about Canaan Loop Road one day. If oh. you see this video, she wants to tell you no. that story. No. <laughs> I, I mean, it's been... This is our second terror trip down dirt road. And that's almost 15 years ago, too, actually, because that was right after we got married. So Horrible day. Oh, God. So every 15 years, apparently, we need to put ourselves through, you know, utter terror. We do not want to do Terror Road again. No. It's actually called Newburgh Road. Yeah, Newburgh. Newburgh. Don't go to don't Newburgh go, Road. No, don't go to Newburgh, Tennessee, because it's nothing but... And it, this is clay dirt, too. Like, this is not mud like we know in West Virginia. Brown mud. Orange. Orange. Well, at least it matches, because our colors are orange. Our, our, the whole undercarriage uh, uh, of the RV is We're covered in mud, and hopefully we get it clean. <laughs> we finally made it to Daniel... Danny Crockett. David Dave, Crockett. David, there we go. David Finally Crockett. to where we're going. And everything else was okay. You know, I was able to back it in. I was able to... He got it on the second try. He he knocked it out of the park. In fact, he knocked all of it out of the park today. I love him so much. He's so I'm so proud of him. Like, you don't realize what he has been through, ladies and gentlemen. This guy's awesome. I love you. Aww. <laughs> it was very hard for me. She won. She did good too. In truth, I was trying to maintain. I, my I didn't cool. have a panic attack. Nope. I was really. I was really. Thank God. I think God. the fact that we were able to maintain our cool is a sign of God was there. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So we get to the campground. Everything's set up. I don't know for sure if you can see what we've done. Yeah. Wouldn't mind showing you really quick just yeah, to see. Yeah, because I know a lot of people really wanted to see a virtual tour of our of our new home on wheels. Um. So it might be a little shaky. So but we're gonna us. try. Okay. <laughs> you get up first. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can do. So this is our home away from home. And these quilts are amazing. Uh, shout out to my friend Tess who does tie dye. Um, I really wanted tie dye quilts, and she made it happen. And they are in um, orange and all our good colors. And. There's our door to our bathroom. Do you want me to open the door? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this place is pretty small, guys. Virtual tour of this place is not going to be, uh, you know, a half an hour show. <laughs> yeah, it's our lovely though. dinette. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually, see, we could walk past each other. and make. Oh, yeah, I did. It's, it's a nice tiny home. And there's no light. Oh, but yeah, I forgot to turn the light on. That's okay. There you go. You get an idea. We love you. Thank you for enjoying our little story. It's a little longer. This is the last of Ollie Ollie Oxen Free. And we love you guys.